Ricky, so great to talk to you again. Yeah, great to talk to you, man. Yeah, so I have to say, um, my favorite character, Easy, is Kenny. Um, season three, episode two, uh, When We Go, is some of your best work as an actor, for sure. Um, I'm starting to decide if the writers either hate you or they hate Kenny or they hate Ricky. I don't know what's yeah. going on. Because I picture they're in a writer's room, like, brainstorming. And yeah. Ricky is, like, suffering, right? So first, Christy leaves him, all right? Yeah. And, and and he's gone through that. Yeah. And then he ha we have to watch his father killed. And then... Uh, boy is tied up to the, the pole and he's watching his mother eaten alive. Like, mm. I, I wonder if they're in room saying, how can we make this character suffer even more? Like, I'm convinced on the season, the series finale, when it all ends, they're going to have everybody leave Frumville except one guy. It's going to be hey. poor, poor Kenny behind. Yeah, I, Kenny's I'm, the new victor. He's stuck in town. <laughs> but it, it might be even worse than that, though. It might be worse. Um, do you see it that way? Because in my opinion, there's no character that has gone under and has gone through more adversity and still this guy's about other people. The next episode, we see him gathering crops because he wants to bring them to the people. This is why I love this character. I mean, he's gone through hell. And before right. I let you go today, I, I'm going to get to the Cantonese and what boy did, which just stole my heart. But um, um, I think that, uh, I mean, I think Kenny's suffering is, is, uh, is exactly that. I mean, I've seen some of the fans saying like, you know, they're building up, building him up to be a hero to, you know, to, to step up to the plate. I don't know that he, um, I don't know that he really has that sense of, uh, I'll put it this way in preparation for like, uh, for episodes one and two, there was a moment, uh, in, in preparation that I think that Kenny had this feeling when he volunteered to go with Jim, um, that he almost felt like, okay, you know what? It is my time to be a hero. I will step up to the plate. Not only am I going to go accompany Jim, um, maybe we'll go out there and make some discoveries. Maybe we'll make some discoveries the way that boy did when he went out there. And so I think that that was his first attempt at heroism. And of course, we know the consequences of that. Um, and so like at this point, I think beyond like trying to be a hero, like he's kind of matured past that because of the consequences of the last time he tried to do it i think he's really just trying to provide for the town i think he's trying to trying to do what his mom did uh for everybody which is like provide support and and bring food home and get them fed am, am i overreacting when i say you've got your character has gone through an unordinate amount of adversity i'm onto something with that right i, I know the writers don't hate you i'm clearly kidding with that but <laughs> but, but well, sometimes i sometimes i turn to my wife i'm like they do they hate this poor guy like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're such a, they're such great writers i was just kidding about that but no for sure i mean like i mean victor's gone through a lot also but i i think that uh i mean i made a i made a suggestion to to john over the phone half joking i called him like a couple weeks ago i was like you know it'd be cool if you guys did this to kenny next season and he said don't you feel like Kenny's suffered enough? And I'm like, you wrote it, man. <laughs> you made it happen. <laughs> so. Yeah. You, you know, and, and the one thing I have to say is when, when, when the mother says in Cantonese, your mother, he, he will be alone. He will have no one. And boy, through all the suffering, all that chaos says, you know, he remembers it and memorizes it to tell you later, dude, I don't think I've ever cried during a horror show or a horror movie. Like there's a first time for everything. How beautiful was that moment? Yeah, it's uh, it, it, was, it was really challenging because, um, like hearing it is 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 crazy and and uh, that scene in particular we kind of had it uh, pushed and pushed uh, just because of like weather issues and things like that and, um, but I typically so John and the writers will write the scripts and when it's Cantonese typically me and Liz Moy will kind of like work together to like. Uh, figure out what the most meaningful way to transcribe these words would be. And so I had sent Harold those words as soon as I read the script. I'm like, this is what I'd say in Cantonese for that. And so in the same way that Boyd was like saying it over and over and over and over again, memorizing these words, I think Harold had like weeks and weeks and weeks of like trying to get it right, trying to get it right, trying to get it right to, to do it justice and to make sure to honor the moment. And so when I really first heard him say it, uh, it was kind of like, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was too much, man. It was like, yeah. My last question, my last question to you, man. And thank you for all this time. I, I, I love your character. So, and again, have the creatures taken a next level approach by tying Boyd up and making him watch? Because if the creatures are what we thought they were, right, mm -hmm. they would have just tied them up. They, they would have just eaten both of them. But mm -hmm. the fact that they make Boyd watch makes me believe there's another layer to this thing what do you think yeah i mean it's kind of like 
Um, Randall kind of says it in, in, I think, one of the upcoming episodes. And also Martin in the chamber also mentioned it. Um, we don't know exactly what, but I don't think the worst thing in town are the monsters. And so... <laughs> <laughs> that, that can't get any worse for the viewers yeah. awesome uh man i'm a big fan and thank you for all this time good luck on the rest of press day and thank you for this opportunity thank you man i appreciate you